Not for 50 years has a spacecraft built for humans been so far from home. Earth is fast receding into the black curtain of space as Orion heads for the moon, a 1.3 million mile test mission without a crew. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition and liftoff of Artemis 1. And the journey began on launch pad 39B of Kennedy Space Center. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The most powerful rocket ever built thundered into the Florida sky, liftoff for a new lunar program that should see astronauts land on the surface once again in just three years. And for the first time, the launch director was a woman. We are all part of something incredibly special, the first launch of Artemis. <laughs> the first step in returning our country to the moon and on to Mars. Orion's journey to the moon will take around a week. It will orbit several times, coming as close as 60 miles to the surface and as far away as 40,000, further into deep space than any other craft built to take humans. Roughly two weeks later, Orion will head home, barreling into the atmosphere at almost 25,000 miles an hour and splashing down off the coast of California on December the 11th. Orion is carrying three test dummies covered in sensors that measure G-forces, vibration and cosmic radiation to confirm the ride will be safe for humans. The Artemis program is costing $93 billion, but scientists say it's worth it. So much to learn from the moon in terms of science. Um, it is a unique record of the solar system. So it tells us about how the Earth evolved, how it will evolve in the future. And by sending humans there to, to collect rocks, to do the geology, we will find exciting things. Artemis will land the first woman and first person of colour on the moon. It's not just the technology that has changed since the Apollo missions half a century ago. Thomas Moore, Sky News.